hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming by today i am so happy that you are here and thank you so much for coming by and stopping by on my channel and for those who don't know me i love to craft i love to do some diy and i love to craft anything craft items from the dollar tree walmart goodwill and anything that can be recycled and of course i also love jewelries talking of jewelries i sell jewelries on the link down below and i have this one that i wear today this one is with rhinestone on the side of this almost looking tiger's eye stone but I am not sure if it's a tiger's eye, but it looks like a tiger's eye, isn't it? But if I'm wrong, let me know. And yes, this is a magnetic clasp, which is easy to take off and put them in. Very, very nice. And yes, this is my one of my awesome hobbies that I love <laughs> to collect and sell jewelries. And yes, if you go to my link on the description down below and if you can't find them in there, that means it's already sold because I cross-posted my jewelries. All right, so first things first, let's grab our craft items that we need for our project for today. Let's go! All right, so first, you are going to need this jute. I got this from Walmart. I think this is a something, I don't know what size. It doesn't show the size in here, but it's almost as half size of my pinky. I don't know, but that's what it is. That's the size. And went to Home Depot. I got this one from Home Depot, as you can see. Went to Home Depot, they said it's free, so. I asked them, can I grab four at least? They're like, yeah, sure, go grab some. So I grabbed some. Ta-da! Yes, I grabbed it. And this one, I used the back of the picture frame. I have this on my previous video. And I don't like to throw stuff that I can reuse. So I kept it. As you can see, even the back of the picture frames is kept. And a clothespin if you have a clothespin that tiny i have this tiniest clothespin you can grab this at the dollar tree as well and a scissors any kind of scissors as you can see i have so much scissors and i use the dollar tree scissors all the time this one and a flower of your choice i have this on my previous stash so i want to use them i don't want to throw them away even if it's like two or one so i love this one i got this from my old stash and another size of jute you can also grab this at the dollar tree as well anywhere in here you can get this at the dollar tree all right and a picture of your choice or a pictures that you love and of course I got this from the Dollar Tree and as you can see, I use this all the time. I just put a paper in there so the glue tip won't touch the plastic of that holder or you, you know, as you can see, it might melt. So I just put a paper in there and I love it because it holds my glue stick on that side and my glue gun on that other side. So here we go. Let's get into our DIY of today. Okay, first things first, we are going to remove this stickers down here. And I kind of want to keep it, but if you want to keep it, go ahead. You can do it. It's your choice. So once you remove that thing on the back, you are going to grab the almost same size flat of this because see, there's a groove behind it which is not level. So as you can see, there is something missing in there, like a chip of wood somehow. But that is perfect. We can redo it. We can do something better for it. You know what I mean? So 
what I do is I put a glue gun in there, a glue in there, and do not cut your jute first, guys, when you do this because you are going to end up the thing uneven. So my trick is I glue them first. After that, I turned it around and whatever I see in that tip or in that end, I cut them so it's evenly cut on that end. You just follow that wood in there. So as you can see, it is super perfect and I like it. Right, and then do the same way. Finish the whole thing. Turn it around and cut. Next, do it again so we can make that thing even on the back. And flush it down closer to that second row of the jute so they are even more even. And cut. All right, so if you see something like coming out in there, you can always trim it out with scissors, easy peasy, easy peasy. All you have to do is just trim it down and there you go, you're good to go. And that is super, super easy. Next is in this area, there is a groove again, which is a little bit tiny little thin-ish groove, you know? So what I grab is I grab my second size of my jute and I do the same way the one at the back okay so I'm going to do it right now glue it down in there put some glue and put my jute down the same process you can make it almost cover that up but I don't like to cover that up because it's a art Okay, and I'm just going to cut it like so, just like that. And I want to paint this one, but I don't like to ruin the beauty of that nice, beautiful wood. So I just want to leave it like so. And then I grab my piece of back of my picture frame. So what you do is with this end where that picture frame stand stands you are going to aim right there like that and don't worry about the bottom right here don't do anything in this one yet since it is see not even all you have to do first is flush it down closer to the end of this wood and please don't cut it yet <laughs> so so it's even more nicer and easier for your life so I'll show you the trick on how I do this okay next is you're going to grab your glue gun you can use a liquid glue of your choice if you want you can use e6000 or anything but with this tutorial purposes I am going to use my glue gun and I am going to put that on the way end. Just make it even. All right. And as you can see, it is beautiful. And then there's an art on the back. That is super, super nice. And next, what you can do is you just start trimming them up, okay? Trim, trim, trim. Trim it and follow the line of your frame. And then cut it again. It's super nice because it's easier and it's making your craft even. All right. So as you can see here, as you can see in the back, super cute. And this one is hanging. So what you can do is you just have to follow that area. I didn't cut it yet because 
of course the chipboard is thicker so what you can do is just also follow that line same way just follow it just like so and trim it the same way same length ta-da there you go and you have an awesome picture frame holder the one thing i like about it is if you don't want to make it stand on your table you can always hang it on the wall there's an option which is perfect see it's beautiful so what i did on mine is i grabbed my second size of jute and i made sure that i glue it you can tie it if you want to let's see we can tie it let's do tying it'll be nicer i just grab it too round of it I, I just tie it like so i'm going to make this one closer so you can see it better there you go and i like to wrap it around on the back like so right there and tie it just like that and you can trim it if you want to next is you are going to grab your clothes pin i like this size and just glue it right there put a a lot of amount put a lot of glue in it so it holds your project okay just glue it like so just like that there you go and what you can do is we are going to make a number eight in this it's on you you decide on how big your bow would look like and what i want is just like this big and i just turn it just like that and i don't worry about the bottom yet because it's just going to because i might need to be trimming that one so what i do is just i just throw them down like so in there on the top of that clothespin on the top of that clothespin i just threw a blob of glue in there and put them in there i don't tie it because it's going to be bulky so i make sure i don't tie it at the moment just like so and then next is i'm going to grab my flower this flower that i have from my stash and with this back of that flower all you have to do is just trim it and make it even like so like this just make it even or you can even remove it if you want to you can if you want to if you don't want it to be you can remove that and right there and just put a blob of glue in there to cover that area just like what i did sorry just like that and put the flower that you just trimmed on that stem and just put them in there and you have an awesome present for someone just like so like that super cute and you can leave it like that with the length of drop of a jute that you want so as you can see it's beautiful i can't believe it we made it guys and there you go it is done and super fast guys this is the super fast diy i have ever made and this is super easy and for example if you need something for a gift or somehow go to home depot it's free <laughs> i hope it's free in there but i finished four i made four for not even 30 minutes super fast
super super fast I really really love it and I'm going to put a picture this is my two boys down here this is my eldest he's 13 and he is nine years old my youngest one and that's where my channel name from is from both of their names and this is this one all you have to do is just put them right there and clip it down super perfect for a you know those pocket wallet pocket something pictures from school and I really really love it I love it super fast and easy super awesome for present and gift and this is me and my husband in our you know when we're goofy sometimes and there you go super cute if you want it stand it like so like that super cute too it's super perfect if you want it hanged or you want it stand on your table super cute and I don't glue the back so that I can adjust the back one if in case if I want to put this on the wall and that is super super fast and easy DIY project and that could be us and it's Shirley Stan and this is us when we went to Orlando for our little trip and there you go you can put your memories and awesome memories in that little project that you made all right so this is our project of today that we just did and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and as you can see we did such an awesome job and i'm sure you can make it too super fast and easy and yes if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe so that would be very very lovely and yes thank you so much guys again for watching and staying with me today and come back next time see you soon you have an awesome awesome day bye